Hi, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to add a network printer to your computer and also how to enable um, printer sharing and stuff like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go down to the uh, start menu. I'm using um, Windows XP. Okay, so then we're going to go to printer and faxes. Now if that isn't there, you can go to control panel and then printer and faxes. Okay, that'll be in the control panel. Okay, so what we've got here is the printer and faxes window. Now as you can see there's nothing there. Okay, now what I did is I have a printer installed on another computer. So now I'm going to um, it's on a network and now I'm just going to add the printer to this computer. So what I'm going to do is press on the add printer button. Okay, and um, the add printer wizard comes up and I'm going to go down the bottom and we're going to press next. Now, um, it wants to know what kind of um, printer it is. Now it's not attached to this computer, it's attached to another computer. So it's a network printer okay I'm going to press on that one now I'm going to go down and press next okay now it can browse for a printer um, we can do that first so we're going to let it browse for the printer we're going to okay so what it what it did is um, it found the other computer on the network now there we go I double clicked on it and there's the printer Okay, now that's pretty easy. Um, there we go, I found it, it wrote it in for me and everything. Now the thing is, if it didn't find it, I could tell it where it is. Now what I'm going to do um, is go back and I'm going to type it in for myself. Now what it is, is it's got the two slashes and if you forget, just have a look down here. The two slashes going that way. Then you put the name of the printer, um, name of the computer in, and the name was Frank, okay. And then you put the name of the printer, which I actually named myself because it had um, a name that I couldn't even remember, you know, like the model number or something like that, okay. So what I've done is it's the name of the computer that's got it. Um, and also the name of the printer. Now I'm going to press next. Okay, so this is what it came up with. It added the printer. Um, we definitely know it found it, so yep, it's all good. Okay, we press finish and there it is. And okay, so here's my printer that I've just installed. It's a network printer and um, I am going to show you how to where the sharing part is. Okay, we're going to go to sharing. Okay, now go to the general tab here. Um, okay, now I don't have a choice here because this is a network printer. But if I was on the computer that the printer was connected to, I would be able to press this button here and say share this printer. Then it would have a name there. Now, um, I changed that name because it made it easier for me to remember. So I suggest you can just call it printer if you want or anything you like. So these, the, this is one of the things. You need to say you want to share the printer, you want to change the printer's name, and you also need to know the computer's name that the printer's on. That's how you set up a network printer. Now I'm on the other computer at the moment and that's what we've installed it to. Okay, so there it is there. Um, I'll just quickly show you, if you go down, we're going to show you the computer name. Okay, now um, the normal way is to go to control panel and then double click on system. And then up here we've got some tabs here, we're going to go to computer name. And there it is there, but if you want to change it, you press on change. And there it is there, it's ready to be changed. Okay, so that's what you need. You need the printer name, the computer name, and also you have to have the printer um, available to share with other computers. Okay, alright, thanks for listening.